Hello guys, welcome to my channel. We are so close to Euro 2024. Everyone is excited, I'm excited. The first games will start on the 14th of June. Uh, I will do my predictions on how the group stages will look, how the rest of the tournament will look, the knockout stage, and who will win the whole thing. A reminder that the first two of each group will qualify to the round of 16. Also, uh, the best four teams out of the six that finish on the third spot will also qualify. So we'll take it group by group. We'll start with Group A. That contains Germany, Switzerland, Scotland and Hungary. We have a competitive group. First impressions, of course, Germany is favorite. They play at home. The entire uh, tournament is played in Germany. So they will have a home advantage. Their last World Cup was a disaster. They failed to qualify even from the group stage, where Japan and Spain went through. Um, their last two friendlies in March were good. They won against France and Netherlands, France away in uh, Lyon, and Netherlands at home. They have a great team, they have a great defense, Rudiger from Real Madrid. They have a great midfield, Kimmich and Gundogan who have already proved their worth. Musiala and Wurz are the new youngsters that will probably play in the national team for the next 10 to 15 years. For the second and third place, we have a strong fight between Switzerland, Hungary and Scotland. All three of them have chances to qualify further. The betting gods have Switzerland as favorite for the second place, but uh, their Euro qualifiers were not that great. They finished second behind Romania. They have a strong uh, team. Akanji, of course, the Man City defender. Uh, Kobel, the Borussia Dortmund goalkeeper that will play in the Champions League final. Uh, Hungary are a great team. They have Soboslai playing at Liverpool. They will be great contenders for the second place. In 2022, they finished second in their nations league group they beat germany away they beat england at home and away with the game at wembley finishing 4-0 scotland comes after a successful euro qualification where they beat Holland's norway for second place just behind spain my prediction will be germany first switzerland second and hungary will finish third scotland last in group b we have spain croatia italy and albania we have Three giants here that will fight for the qualification. Um, Spain, Croatia and Italy. Spain seems to have a little advantage and they seem to be slight favorites to the top. Albania comes after a crazy qualifying stage where they surprised everyone, beating Czechia and Poland to the first place. They might not have the best team right now. Armando Brohau might be their best player and certainly their most valuable uh, player according to transfer market but their team looks strong overall and their fighting spirit might cause a surprise here but uh, yeah i suspect that uh, spain will top the group italy will finish second croatia in third place and albania last in group c we have slovenia denmark england and serbia this group seems to be pretty balanced apart from england who look clear favorites. England will most likely finish first here. Jude Bellingham, Phil Foden, Declan Rice all had an incredible season and will be the stars of this squad. They are one of the favorites to win the whole thing after a long break since 1966, the last time they won a major tournament. Then we'll have a three-way race between the other teams. It's hard to tell who will finish second, but Denmark and Serbia are favorites. Both teams will rely on their uh, attacking force. Denmark will have Hoyland from Manchester United, while the Serbs will have Vlahovic and Mitrovic in attack. We'll have to see how Mitrovic and Milinkovic Savic will perform after their transfers in Saudi Arabia. Slovenia might have a chance to surprise me, but with Oblak and Sesko as their only stars, that might not be enough to finish ahead of Denmark and Serbia. So. I think England will finish first, 
Serbia, a slight advantage, they will finish second. Denmark, in third, and Slovenia, last. Switching to Group D, we have a really interesting group. Netherlands, Austria, France, and Poland. Well, at first glance, we have two clear favorites in Netherlands and France. Austria and Poland are still strong teams and they will not go down without a fight. Mbappé will lead the French team for the last time as a PSG player before he moves to Real Madrid, most likely. France has been the most consistent team in the last eight years. We have Real Madrid's midfielders, Chouameni, Kamavinga, will be very important in helping France win the whole thing. Netherlands, in the qualifying groups, finished second behind France, so they will most likely repeat that scenario again this time. We have Xavi Simons, Frankie de Jong and Frimpong from Leverkusen, who will uh, be the stars. Austria comes after a successful campaign, where they finished only one point behind Belgium to qualify to this Euro, and will be the one most likely to challenge the Dutch. Poland is on the opposite side of this. They had a disastrous campaign where they lost to Moldova and finished third in their uh, qualifying group. They qualified only after beating Estonia and Wales in the playoffs. Lewandowski, at the end of his career, will have to lead this team. They might pull a surprise, but I don't see it happening. France, Netherlands, Austria and Poland in this order are my predictions. In Group E, we have the most balanced group so far. Belgium are favorites to finish first. They have Doku, Openda, De Ketelare, who all come after a great season at their uh, clubs. And they seem to also be the future of the national team after a failed generation that had high hopes but failed to deliver. So. For second place, we will have an undefeated Romania, who finished above Switzerland in their qualifying group, a strong Slovakian team that finished just behind Portugal in the qualifiers, and Ukraine, who come after a playoff win, and who will rely on Modric, Zinchenko, and an informed Dovbik from Girona, who had an incredible season in Spain. I see here Belgium First, Ukraine coming second, Romania third, and Slovakia last. Group F brings a new team to the Euros. For the first time, Georgia made history by beating Greece in the playoffs and uh, qualifies to the Euros. Cristiano Ronaldo's Portugal will have to give the number seven a great exit on the international stage, and I think they will finish first. Turkey have a strong team with players like Chalhanoglu, like uh, Kokchu, I think they will finish second. Czechia with a balanced team, not too many stars. I don't think they have the power to replicate what they did in the early 2000s. I think they will finish third. And an enthusiastic Georgia team with Napoli star Varashkelia, Mamardashvili in goal. They like the experience, so I think they will finish last. As I said earlier, the best four teams in third place will also qualify to the round of 16. Here I predict Croatia, Hungary, Austria and Denmark are the strongest teams and I think they will uh, qualify further. We are now done with the group stage. We have the knockout stage. In the round of 16, we have the first game Germany versus Serbia. Here I see a clear winner in Germany. Serbia will fight, but I don't think they have the power to beat Germany at their own ground. Then we have Italy versus Switzerland. I predict an Italy win, but do not forget that Switzerland made a big surprise at the last Euros in 2020, where they beat France in the knockout round in Bucharest on penalties. But this time I think Italy is stronger. Moving to the other game, Spain against Hungary. Hungary a great team, might cause a surprise, but I bet my money on Spain. England versus Austria. England is hungry for uh, international success. I think they will beat Austria. In the next two games, we have 
some clear favorites. Portugal and Netherlands might qualify. I fancy Portugal's chances against Denmark. And in the other game, I'm inclined to give Netherlands the advantage, of course. But I'm going for a surprise. I think Ukraine will beat Netherlands because of the success of their players Dovbik and Tsigankov from Hirona, who are really in form and I think they will cause Netherlands to go home. Finishing off the round of 16, we have Croatia versus Belgium, a very balanced game. This one might be the most balanced game of, the, of this round. Form will be a deciding factor. I will not go on that route of uh, giving the aging squad argument against Croatia. They are not to be underestimated, but Belgium is not at their best right now, so I really think Croatia will go through. The last game, France versus Turkey. We know that Germany has a, a large population of German Turks. I think the stadium will be full of Turkish fans. They might push their players from behind, but I think France quality is too much for Turkey to cause the surprise. So France will go through. Moving on to the quarterfinals, we have the first game, an incredible display, Germany versus Spain. The last time they played in the World Cup in 2022, they drew, but Spain went to the next round, Germany went home. Germany also plays at home, we cannot forget that, so I still think that Spain will go through. Germany only making it to the quarterfinals at the Euro that they host. The next game, we have Portugal versus Ukraine. An ambitious squad from Ukraine, but the quality of the Portuguese players will be hard to overcome. I think Cristiano Ronaldo and his team will go further. Moving on to the last two quarterfinals, we have a replay of the 2018 World Cup final between Croatia and France. This will be a revenge opportunity for the Croats, but while the French have a better head-to-head -head record overall, the last two games that they played, Croatia won and drew. They might have the moral advantage against France, but I still think that France will go through. The last game, England versus Italy. They faced just last year in the qualifiers, England won both, home and away. It will be a hard challenge for the Italians, but I still think that England will go through. We have two more rounds, the semi-finals and the final. We have two great derbies here, Spain versus Portugal. They are neighbors, they have a rivalry that goes back to 100 years. The first game they played in 1921 was a Spain win against Portugal at Madrid. The Portuguese, from what I understand, are not very confident in their chances to win the whole thing. They have world-class players like Leao, Bernardo Silva and of course Ronaldo. But as a team, they still have more to prove. I think Spain is uh, more experienced and will go through. The other semi-final, we have a repeat of the quarterfinals from the last World Cup in Qatar, France versus England. Can I see England beating France, breaking the curse? I don't know. I think France is a powerhouse and their final performance from the World Cup against Argentina showed again and again how strong they are. Bellingham and Kane, if they have a great game, might push England through, but it will be a hard challenge. I see France winning the semi-final. And to finish the whole tournament, we have the final, the long-awaited final between Spain and France. Players will be exhausted. This is a major fact for me in my decision I think both Spain and France will have a lot of injuries, a lot of players who come after a long season at club level, both in domestic competitions and Champions League, Europa League and so on. France, we know, can line up maybe two different winning teams, so I think this might decide the winner. I think Spain will not, 
start their final with the same team that started their first game because of these injuries. France instead can cover in a lot of places and Spain do not have that advantage. The French bench is pretty strong and that will be hard to beat. So my final prediction for the Euros 2024, France wins the whole thing. But at the end of the day, it doesn't matter who wins it. My predictions might be right, I may be wrong. We'll come back after the Euros finish to see if I was right. But at the end of the day, what's important is that we all have fun. I think it will be a great spectacle in Germany. The fans will be amazing. Big stadiums. I think Germany will have a great organization. We have a lot to look up to. We have the young stars. Musiala, Yamal, uh, Xavi Simon, Sesco. A lot of young players. But we also have experience. This tournament will be the last one for many players. Ronaldo, Toni Kroos. So, yeah. We'll come back after the Euros are done. We'll review my predictions and leave in the comments if you think that I made major errors. Who is your favorite? Who will you support? But also who you think will actually win the competition. So we'll see you in the next video.